But yeah, this just, I don't know. I've said this before, but I think this is just kind of the perfect sandbox game for me. Light objectives, but you can kind of do what you want uh, within kind of the realms of like what you need to do. It just feels really good. Thanks for dredging out all that dirty soil, dude. Now we can carry on making our river. If the worst should happen, the water goes all muddy again. Just scoop it all up with the bottomless pot of yours. That pot should be full of dirty water now. Don't go pouring it out again or we'll be back to square one. Just fill up your pot again with some clean water and the job's good and... Mind if I ask a question? You're looking heck of a thin recently. You look eating properly. I'm blimmin' famished myself. And don't tell this to no one, but I'm sick of vegetables. I want to eat something different. Enough talking. If Lulu saw me slacking off, she'd go blimmin' square. Oh, spare. We got work to do. Dinner can wait until we're done with this river. Jolly good showing, dude. At this rate, our river will be the envy of our neighbors. Whosoever they may be. There we go. Yes, the river looks so much larger and uh, bigger and better now. Impressive work, dude. Indeed, and yet its end seems somewhat abrupt. Could it not be bigger and better still? Well, how about we clear some more of this dirt out of the way? Then dude can go potty with the pot again. Uh... All right. What's more, once we make a path for the water, there's the perfect place for a pretty pond. What a splendid idea, Rosie. Let's get started right away. We. We need to dig a path through that dirt over there, so the river can run all the way to the pond. I'm wearing and ready to go, Lulu. Let's get smashing! Woo! Eh, <laughs> those two are really excited about smashing some soil. Well, when it comes to earth-shattering sh events, you can count me in. Aha! Well, you two young, well, you youngsters are busy here. There's a certain area nearby I'd like to inspect more closely. By the time I get back, I expect to see this river winding all the way from the mountains to the Bonanza Land Basin. It's got into you, Perry. Everyone's jetting off left and right and s left, right, and center, and you stood there like a statue, not thinking of slacking off, are you? No, no, it ain't that. It's just that sound, that rumbling. I can't take it no more. Oh, dude, I can't take all this rumbling and grumbling no more. I need something to eat. I'm sick and tired of blooming cabbages and blooming pumpkins. Ain't you got anything else? Ho, ho, ho. If you don't eat your greens, you'll never grow up big and strong, strong, strong. Did he just, like, cannonball in from his mountaintop? He did. But if you have a hankering for more exotic foodstuffs, you're in luck. There are several small islands nearby that are simply packed, packed, packed with exciting ingredients. Many an explorer has set, set sail for those shores in search of new materials. Though the islands have been long since abandoned, their secrets sleep there still. Dude, why don't you and Malwa take a quick trip, trip, trip over to one of these explorer's shores and see what you can find? Seem to remember those isles being chock, chock, chock full of chickens once upon a time. You bring... Bring, bring one back. It might even lay you a few eggs. <laughs> Chickens, eh? How are we supposed to catch them? Well, whatever. We can cross that road when we come to it. Speak to the old, uh, speak to old brown, brown beard on the dock, dock, dock. I'm sure he'll be happy to ferry you over. <laughs> Hear that, Perry? Me and Dude are off to explore these islands, and fetch a fine feast for you. But if I get back and find out you haven't helped Rosie and Lulu with the river, I'll smash every last egg in front of you and make you lick it off the dirt, understand? Yes, Master Melrose, sir! The crippling cramps in my stomach ain't that bad, really! If you could bring us back a chicken, just one'll do! I'd be ever so happy! There ain't no time to be wasting! Warp yourself to the dock and have that brownbeard fella take you to one of these foul-infested foul islands! We Okay, that's nice. We can just warp around. Well, that would have saved me some time earlier, but that's okay. Ahoy, dude! I've got news for ye. 
I was drinking my shanty and singing to Grog when I spotted a couple of new islands nearby. New islands? He must be talking about the explorer shores. All right, fish lips, you're taking us to one of those islands right now. Arr, I'll gladly ferry you over. But a sailor can't work for free. I'm a businessman, don't forget. That said, we ain't got a piece of 88 between us. Tell you what, I'll bet you pay me with some of those shiny little hearts I've been seen, I've seen poking out of your pockets. If you're willing to part with your hard-earned hearties, it'll cover the cost of the voyage. Oh my god, we're paying him an exposure. And because I like the splice of your main brace, once you've paid the price, I'll take you back to the same island as many times as you like for no extra charge. I made a little log of the things I could spy on each island, so if you got your eyeballs set on something in particular, be sure to take a look before you set sail. If you need more materials or fancy some new items, then the Explorer Shores are for you. You can even use gratitude points to unlock new islands. Do I have mail? From Saffron. Dear dude, I trust you're enjoying life on the Isle of Awakening. How's my sister Lillian getting along? The refreshing breeze here on Furrowfield. Sorry. It's perfect for cooling freshly baked loaves. Though it does little to temper Clayton's newfound passion for building. He's ever the hothead. Do give my regards to everyone. Ever so sincerely yours, Saffron. Ahoy, dude. Where will we be hauling anchor today? Okay, so we could go to Furrowfield. We could go to Blossom Bay. Can't do that. Or we can go to Soggy Scary. Island Info. It's got chickens. And shrubs and stuff. Builderdom's best category. Uh, so an infinite supply of dry grass and wood and some other things. So what's up at Blossom Bay? Dogs! I like this map. This is so nice. It'll cost you 50 exposure points to plot a course to soggy scary. Is that okay with you? There she blows. Now you can set sail for Soggy Scary any time you like. When you travel between islands, you save data. Blah, 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 blah. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. It is fascinating. So I talk about exposure points in this kind of like mocking tone, but I'm I'm literally in one of the only careers. Where, well, no, not one of the only careers. There are probably plenty of careers where exposure does actually kind of sort of pay the bills, sort of. Um, but it's probably the same person. Uh, this next chapter looks like it'll be fun. Man, people have played way more of this than I have. Uh, anyway. We're here. Say ahoy to explorer's shores. There's all kinds of fancy materials on this island. Be sure to examine anything you happen to find. Check it out, and check it off the list. I told you about the little list I shoehorned together, right? Well, now they're yours. If you take the items off as you examine them, then you'll know you've seen them all. But don't worry, I can ferry whatever you find back to the Isle of Awakening. The sea's leading here are as calm as a sea cucumber. So there's no risk of anything going over plank. Well, what are you waiting for? Climb up this little crop top and use your windbreaker to glide over to the main island. Or back whenever you like. Scavenger hunt. See if you can complete all. You get a special bonus. Unsel unlimited supply of a useful material. Oh, hi. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, first we dig all this up for obvious reasons. Hey, we get a barrel. Sweet. Would you... Bango. Oh! Okay, we should probably do this... Oh, there we go. Sea slime shell. We might as well put a bunch of these things away, at least for now. Uh, too deep is pain. I'm pretty sure none of these are on the checklist. There's no music on this island, or maybe 
Maybe it's just not until we actually get further in. Now, are these islands randomly generated? They strike me that they probably are. And that's okay. So yeah, by completing by completing these objectives, we get an unlimited supply of wood. I really like that. That's a nice way of handling it. Obviously, that's probably not going to carry over with us until into the next island, but that's okay. I'm glad I brought with a stupid amount of food. Oh, you have to hit X to check first. Uh... Okay. We should probably get closer to some of these things. Pestilential nest. Interesting. Okay. That's how this works. Is there seriously no music for this area? Oh, Melrose in the way. Okay. Lots of ants. For obvious reasons. Don't care about those. Do care about big murder. Oh, he had a bunch of sugar stock. Oh. Fiddleheads. That's murdering a chicken. I should probably stop it. Animal magnetism. Carefully sneak up behind an animal and gently... Okay, when you press X to stoke it, your new friend will start to follow you. But first, we must rescue it. <laughs> I have befriended a chicken. The chicken has joined dude's party. Oh, yeah. And we check chickens off the list. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any music in here. That's a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if you could just listen to kind of whatever. I can pet the chicken. The chicken clocks. Okay, bark off the list. Now, does this one have an acorn? Doesn't look like it. Can't place what? Okay, there's the acorn on the list. Oh, there's still another tree part that I haven't grabbed. Well, actually... I should probably actually destroy parts of this. Because I do want to grab some of these things. Okay, is there anything else? Not overwhelmingly. And yeah, I don't... I don't think I actually need... Oh. I can hit my chicken friend. Why? Why is that an option? I certainly can't hit Malroth. Okay. Is it that? Oh, yeah. Blocky buttress root off the list. Yeah, I can just hit my chicken friend. Luckily, it heals, so it's not that big of a deal. You can only have six chickens in your party. That's probably fine. Bango. Might as well grab grab the lot of this, this while I'm here. I don't think I'm going to need bark for too much. But best to grab it while we're here. But yeah, you can only have six chickens. I think that's fine. We should probably kill, like, one or two of them, maybe.
Okay, mossy earth. What is this? Well, it let me check it, and then it didn't let me check it. It's letting me talk. Okay. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to grab. Oh, there we go. I just have to be inside of it. That's the answer. Okay, so Albert Jets. Oh, so we've got like mini eggplant situations going on here. Stop trying to eat my chickens. I guess that's the the point. You can you can kill your chickens. Okay, so what else am I missing here? Ivy, cattails, rocks. We haven't actually checked any of the rocks. I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. Anything else around here? The place is actually a lot larger than I was expecting. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just big. Oh, but I don't think any of the stuff on the beach actually counts, does it? Nope. Because that's a completely different biome. What's this? Oh, pristine plumberry. Oh, completely different type of tree. Ah! Stop! I'm trying to rescue these chickens, and you are currently standing in my way. And it is annoying. Oh, no! Well. It got exploded. It probably got exploded by Malroth. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. Well, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll grab the chickens at the end. Apparently we've got other things to work on. Uh, and if it's gonna get murdered by all of these guys, we might as well just... We might as well just, uh... Everything else. Can I... Can I... Can I not check these? Check the pumpkin. Oh! Those are... Those are just proto-pumpkins. Got it. that I think we're hurting for seeds exactly, but still, might as well grab more. Okay. Now, do we need twigs? We probably need the most basic of twigs. Nope. Twigs do not count. But cattails do. I think these just give me... You know, I actually do need this stuff. Let's see, mossy stones. Also, swampy soil. So we still need ivy, bramble, and something I don't recognize. Maybe these? No. Ow. We need big, big brambles. Small brambles. Do we have any ivy? Not seeing any in this immediate area. Okay. I'm gonna go looking for that first. Oops. Dang it. Want as many pumpkin seeds as I can possibly grab. 
Got a decent amount of acorns. Because, yeah, obsessively just collecting as much of this as possible is actually going to come in handy. Let's see. Check the wheat. I think we had quite a lot of... I think we had quite a lot of... Oh. Oh, dang it. Okay, there we go. So we still don't need to actually go for these. Uh, and I can't check pristine plum berries. But I can grab them because food. And murder this little sucker. There we go. Thank you for the grass seed. Let's go back. We missed this. And we're still trying to find... Still trying to find... Gross heavy. Oh! Hi! Hummus! Oh! Shoot! Hummus! I know I can make this stuff with fertilizer, but you know what? That's a pain in the butt. If I'm gonna make a farm, I might as well just literally make the farm. Because if vegetables grow four times here... Along you? Oh, it's Humus? Oh. I'll take your word for it. I know nothing about agriculture. I come from a farming family, but my dad was like, yeah, no, I'm gonna go be a computer programmer. And my mom was just like, eh, finance. And then I never learned anything about it after. Humus. Huh. I like hummus better. It sounds better. Oh yeah, there's a dying chicken. I guess I should probably save it. Problem is, they're just gonna get murdered by these slug creatures, kinda no matter what I do. Like, I can try and safeguard them, but... Oh, you know what? I might have just insta-deathed it. Okay, so we've befriended a chicken. I do really wish you you couldn't like uh <laughs> Let's see. I do really wish uh once you've rescued a chicken, it's just considered uh friendly and you can't hit it. That's a really, like, it's a really odd design choice. Not impossible to deal with, but annoying. Okay, so... Vines. I think it's vines. Yeah, keep an eye out if you see any of the, uh... It's Ivy, sorry. Ivy and whatever that, that like, weird scraggle plant is. That looks... this looks promising. Be nice if you could almost drop the chickens off at the boat. Just warp back occasionally. Oh, here? This might be it. Uh, let's see. Really? I guess that stuff doesn't count for whatever reason. Or maybe we just have to find a different section. I, I'm not sure. There's another section lower. Give me your poop, creature. It has to be the dying kind. Ah. Chickens here, here, they're fine. This chicken on the other hand, less fine. I do wish the level cap had gone up. 
for this area or something. It's not necessarily a big deal, but it's like, eh, I'm here. Close enough. Shamus! Ormus! Ormus the Enormous! Bango! Pumus! How many different ways can I say Shamus? Okay. Admittedly, I might not need to do this this much. We'll have plenty of night soil by just playing the game. I just figured this would be real a real easy way of just like obtaining a bunch fairly early on. Well, that was quick. But, uh, let's see. Okay, but so. This fine might not count. Is that abusing a completely different chicken? Or is this the completely different chicken that I safeguarded but did not rescue? Well, I will rescue and then I'm gonna try this vine again. Oh, nope, there we go. Dry ivy. Okay, now we just gotta find whatever that, that last plant is. Is that it right there? I think that's actually it. It's just a dead plant. Yep. Gangrenous greenery. Alright. Infinite amount of dry grass is now available in the builder's workbench. Okay. So my chicky do my chicky doos are ready. How long are you going to be afraid of me? I'm back here. <laughs> Maybe turning up the sensitivity on my sticks is not a good idea. Oh well. Hydrangea. Oh, cool. Can I get the other stuff? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh, and I just destroyed a lot of it. Well, that's... fair? Let's see. So we got the hydrangea. What am I missing? I think I'm just missing one bush. I guess we go back in. Is there anything else that I I feel like I've been neglecting so far, resource-wise? No idea, but there's something really interesting over there, so I should probably go take a look at that. Look at this thing. It's probably nothing. Builderdom's best are 1 in 100 winning entries into a building contest, and they're all made by builders just like you. Use them to inspire your own creations. Inspire. Ah. Oh. So I can't actually get any resources out of this. I mean, it is really cute, though. Hi there, I'm Joan. I get by by working as a villager. That's when I'm not traveling the world, looking for inspiration. I've got an idea. How about you take me to your island? Yeah. Thanks, that's great news. I can't wait to visit your island, dude. We just get a random NPC. Sure, why not?
Well, that's cute. Okay, so we might as well get the aubergines. I've got four four chickens and a random person. Um Yeah, it could be the leaves on top of the trees. Because it's not one of these trees. Unless there's different types of... Oh, it's probably one of those bigger trees, maybe. Let's see. Maybe? Either way, it might be up here. This seems a little bit more green than the other areas. Oh, it doesn't look like any of these. Uh, let's see. It's not this. Kill the Bodkins. Oh, there it is. It's this. It's gotta be. Yep. Big plumberry tree. Alright, we now have an infinite amount of wood. Well, that's convenient. I don't think there's much else... There's much other reason to stick around here. Apart from rescuing... Two more chickens, probably? Let's just do that. Oh. He keeps hanging out directly next to the other chicken. Obviously inconvenient to us. Damn it. Stop maligning my chickens. We might just have to bail before they all get killed. These chickens are weirdly sensitive, though. Okay, there's five. Do we go for one more? We could, or we could just leave. Because I can always come back here whenever I want. We've got tons of resources. I guess the only thing I don't have is, like, loads of seeds. But I could probably do that when I'm not being mobbed by, like, a small herd of chickens. Let's see. Is there more to this island that's even worth, like, looking at, too? Again, probably something to check out when I'm not covered by a bunch of chickens. Are they just gonna... Yeah, they're just gonna keep far following me whether or not I care. Alright. The explorer's shores are mystical lands that shift and change after every visit. If, you're le if you left something behind, it won't be here when you came back. Are you sure you want to be returning to the Isle of Awakening? Yes. It also kind of sucks that there's no music there. And it's like, on one hand, I don't need the music. On the other hand, it is really nice to be able to just, like, kick back and listen to something while I'm exploring. Wow. Somebody likes Smalroth. That's weirdly creepy. That's a nice little house. Help. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I, I like the amount of energy that people are putting into this game. Like, it's it's fun seeing other people uh, really get into this. Oh, somebody said that there's no music when it rains. Huh. You know, that would make sense. We're back. I gotta say, that's one obedient chicken. Let's go go and show Perry. Well, ye lot take care of business here. I'll haul sail and keep my eyebrows peeled for more islands. I've heard rumblings of another enormous one lurking about in the open seas. Same size as Furrowfield. Give or take a fathom. I'm as certain as pirates hate body parts that come in pairs. That the place is inhabited. 
Maybe you could find some new mates and materials there. Another island like Furrowfield. Sounds like it'll be the start of a whole new adventure. Can't wait to check it out. Give me a knees up when you're ready to set sail. I'm always anchored here, except when I'm not. What's that rumbling sound? Well, look who it is. Perry's come to check if we found the fowl. Let's show him the chicken and rub it in his face. Okay, first, first we lift a chicken. Oh, come on, oh, I can't lift a chicken. I was gonna try and actually rub it in his face. Well, the rest of the chickens have bailed, but oh well. I've been waiting for you to come back, dude. Did you bring me a cute little chicken? Did you? She's blimmin' adorable. Once that girl starts laying eggs, we won't have to eat cab no cabbages no more. By the way, did Brownbeard tell you about that girl liquor? A uh, girt liquor of an island he's... Uh, sorry, girl liquor. Ah. Uh, girt liquor of an island he's looking for out in the ocean. Well, I reckon I might know something about it. I remember hearing about this one place we're famous for mining metal right out of the ground. Long time ago, people of Furrowfield used to trade with them folks, swapping veggies for metal and whatnot. But all the children of Argon made us put a stop to it. They never seen no metal with me own peepers. I'd love to visit that island one day and see what that place is like. Oh, dude, nearly forgot. A letter came in for you. Have you read it already? I might look like a sea slug a bed, but I keep myself busy every day exploring the local waters. I brought that letter back with me on my last bon voyage. And I was thinking you'd rather stay old up on your ship and then exchange a single word with a landlubber. You're actually a word exchanger extraordinaire. Well, dude, the captain went to a lot of trouble to deliver that letter. Ain't you got to check the post off, uh, post box? If it's important news, I'm sure the others will want to hear it. Okay, I already read it. Yep. Are my chickens actually going anywhere? Oh yeah, they are. They're just running very slowly. How are you even planning on getting over there? I guess they're just gonna jump. I'm really curious if you could have actually sequenced broke any of this. Probably. <sighs> What's up, Shell? You can turn it down. Yoo-hoo, dude! <clears throat> oh, you make me want to buy this game. Everyone should. It's so good. Well, you're away. We finished clearing the dirt out of the way. Now the water can run all the way into the pond, just like we planned. Now is complete. You should run along and find Lulu. She's desperate to speak with you. Saving for Borderlands 3. This game's better. I also might be a bit biased. I'm not a big fan of Borderlands. Dude, Malroth, you're back. As you can see, we've cleared a path for the river while you two were off adventuring. All we need now is some water. Ah, dude, just the gentleman I was looking for. I bring good tidings upon further inspection of that intriguing area I mentioned. I stumbled upon a way to make our river even more impressive. However, I'll only reveal my ingenious plan once our little lake project is complete. Baha! It's almost time to pour the final piece of the puzzle into place. Let's go, go, go! Let's see, what's better? Get this on PS4 or Switch? Uh, honestly, it's purely up to platform platform of choice. The multiplayer is a thing, but it's not much of a thing. I really, really hope uh, for for Dragon Quest Builders 3, which is probably inevitable. Uh, like, they've got source material up to 11 at least. Um, but I hope for the next one they actually go, like, full bore and make... Um, and make like a, a proper co-op multiplayer campaign because I totally could have done this with Shell. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that would have actually been really fun. I also know of a couple of friends that very specifically wanted to do this, uh, like as a full co-op thing. Uh, very specifically, Ash and Jazz from Stumped. And also, uh, Moose and Joe, actually. Like, pretty much every couple I know would have loved to play this game as, like, a full co-op campaign. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Last I heard, the Switch has FPS problems. Oh, does it? That's a shame. It might fix it up. Personally, I'm playing it on my PS4, and I enjoy it there. But, like... I don't really find either platform to be, like, superior. I... I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Has there been much of a... Have there been much of, like, console competition as of late? Or are people, like, finally done with that stupid business? Because I remember for years there was, like, the whole, like, Xbox! Oh, uh, hi? We learned a new rest. What? Filter fountain, an instrument that redirects water to rain down from above. Place some water to activate. Cool. It really does not want to expand, does it? Into my ass. Ugh. Okay, there it goes. Now it's filling out. Because, yeah, I remember back when I was in elementary school and middle school and whatever, there was the whole, like, Nintendo versus, like, uh, PlayStation versus Dreamcast. And then Dreamcast freaking died. Uh, which was actually kind of tragic, because Dreamcast was, like, a charming platform. It had some great ideas. And then... Okay, I think we're good. Let's see, is there a weird cavern under the water? Not in this area. So it looks like it might also want me to have, like, a water feature up above. It certainly looks like it wants a water feature. I might... Hmm. I want it. Oh, no, never mind. The, the river is supposed to loop around the whole thing. Now, there is a cavern over here that you're talking about. it. This one there. Let's see, Dreamcast is probably your favorite machine of all time. Huh. I've never... I mean, I've heard high praise for it. I played it for a while. It had some really neat games on it, but... I don't know. PC is my favorite platform. <laughs> now that we've cleared a path for the river, it's all up to you to work your watery magic. You know the drill by now, dude. We'll stand in the places we need you to pour the water. Whoops. That means all you need to do is tip that bottomless pot out and fill the riverbed. Wow, dude. This is brilliant. Not only do we have a long and winding river, but a lovely pond, too. Brilliant work, dude. This place was once a barren wa barren badland without a drop of water in it in sight. But just look at the place now. Seeing all that stunning scenery leaves me practically breathless. Isn't nature wonderful? It's blimmin' be beautiful! Do you know what the best thing about it is? We all built it together! I feel so proud! I think I might cry! Aha! Save your tears for later, Perry, my lad! We're far from finished, I'll have you know. I have a monumental plan to transform this tiny trickle into a tumultuous torrent. The time has come to put the findings of my investigation to good use, and make our river bigger and better than before. Get on with it, then. You've been going on about this plan for ages. It's high time you put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> high is the operative word, my dear. Come one, come all, to the top of the cliff. After me, dude. 